What's going on guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you a tutorial for how to record Lawina, Lawin, Lawina video. So here we go. So the first thing you need is the Lawina recording tool. So how do you find that? You just open up your browser and then you search Lawina recording tool. This should come up. You should click on this one. Okay, now you come to here. So now you download the latest version. Okay, and then you should have the files with my Lavina like this. Okay, something like this. So, to do this, you want to launch Lavina. Okay, to launch it, just launch. Press on the EXE. It may take a while. Uh, it should update itself. Uh, it should update itself. But this is the video you're gonna. This is the video that you're gonna have. The 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 box. So to show you resolution, the HUD, default, view models, blah 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 blah. Now, yeah, direct this. This is just quality. You can choose your quality. This, uh, yeah, I just set it the highest. I uh, record. You can set your your own um, FPS. I set mine to 120 because I find that's perfect for me. So you can change all this. Um, yeah, yeah, minimal, medic, full. Yeah. Okay. So once you get it here, and yeah, this is your interface. Is pretty self-explanatory. So this is start TF2, so you rec you can record off demos. So you start TF2. Should launch. Okay. Okay, it launches. And it should come out like this. It's the window mode. Hopefully you guys can see. Yeah, it comes out of window mode, and this cons console come up will will come up. So you can see all the third person cameras. You can take this down right in your notepad. This will help you record. So as this is P starts record. This is the most important one. P, blah. The HK heights, blah blah blah. That's all the advanced stuff. So how to access your demos? Press Shift F two. This should open up. That will play back. And if you don't know how to record demos, it's basically just type record in a server, record, let's say demo name. Then your demo name right there. So that's how you how that's how you record demos. And you need a demo to record uh through Lawina. So once you have a demo that you get in a server, you wanna load it. it. May take some time, demo load takes a while. Now it'll show your TF folder. Now all your demos should be here. I'm gonna find a random, a random part. What's a good one? Okay, one of my pugs um, demo. So I'm just gonna load it up. And we're gonna do a random thing. So you have to give it a sec to load. It's pretty big. It's like 29 minutes. So my demo. So we we'll wait a while. It should load. But once it loads, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the area that we wanna record, and we're gonna close the demo playback. And then we're gonna press P. That's how we're basically gonna do it. I don't know why it's taking this long. It's not supposed to be taking this long. Okay, but there we go. So I'm playing as a scout. It's a little bit laggy because I'm recording. So I move this aside. So let's say you want to record the mid fight. So let's say we get here. Okay. So notice the tick, 700. So you can come back to this later. 10 seconds. So from here, uh, let's say you want to start recording from here. You press resume, you close this demo, and then you record by pressing P. You notice down the frames will go really slow. Okay, it will go really slow. And notice here I try to pick the mid, but I'll obviously fail, hopefully. So let's try, let's say you try to get, uh, you try, you want to record the whole sequence, yeah. So you're done. Okay. So, so let's say you want to have that clip, but you should just record it. Yeah. So that that's done. So we're gonna disconnect and you have your clip already recorded. So we're gonna quit TF2 right now. Okay. 
So this should be done. This will appear, uh, registry editor. Uh, it did, I don't think it showed on Bandicam, but now you're done. So after you set up Lawina, you should have set a place where it will save your clips. If you set it to desktop, you're a dumbass because then your whole thing will be spread with frames, which is which is a brilliant idea. So I have Lawina clips folder where I keep every single frame that I record in here. So they they keep it by alphabet and number. So the latest one that I just recorded is J10. So keep track of J10. Okay. So now you need virtual dump. Virtual dub is a program that transfers frames into a video. Oh, wrong thing. So you want to click on vdubcc4.exe after you download it or any other thing that launches this. You can, may have a new version, the interface might not be like this. So what you're going to do from here is you're going to file, open video file, and now you want to go all the way to what you remember the J10? J10. But if this is your first clip, which should be it, you should try to find A, A10. So once you find A10, you just click on this. Now this will be the starting clip, so it'll be 000, open. And you can see this is, it may have a little bit glitch here, so it, this will be a frame, okay? So from here, you want to go to audio. Then you go to audio from another file, because you also recorded this. And you go to your place where you found it, so you go to... Lawina clips, there it is. And you wanna wait until it loads till yours. So J10, right? J10, open. So if you don't want to like your audio going really really slow compared to your frames, you wanna go to video, go to frame rate, from here, it says change to the video and audio match, blah 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 blah. But you notice this is a little bit off from the 120 20 frames a second, so you wanna change FPS frame rate. 120 frames a second. I don't know why 7 frames drop. It shouldn't be like this. Okay, I think my comp is just being stupid because I'm recording. So it should say about 119, 121. No, normally 119 point something. And it should work with 120. So you press OK. And you want to go File. And you want to go Save as AVI. And when you save, it should come up like this. Then you desktop or whatever folder you want. I'm going to name this Scout, you know. So you save it, and this should come up. See, it's going to render really fast because the video is really short. Depends on the speed of your computer, but I have a pretty okay one. So you can close this, and you notice now you have a, a video on your thing. So next, if you want to compress this video, because you notice like the size of it is ridiculous. It's like 743 Mac just for this small file. That's like 3 seconds. So. Uh, H264 I think so, that's it. Let me try to find it. Give me a sec. Okay, so it's H264.exe Okay, I opened it. Uh, it's in under my important stuff, easy six H264. You can download this, search on Google. So you should get this and you want to open up H26, H264.exe so from here you get this, okay? Output file, video file, or maybe the it'll be different for you. Same thing, still works the same way. So your video file, you can select it. Go select it, not from Bandy Desktop. You want to find Scout Fail Clip. Uh, it's mine, but yours may be different. An output file, okay? You want to select any file. Mine's gonna be Radam file. Here we go. And then you want to save it. So from here, check your video FPS. I change it to uh just leave it. I didn't I didn't know there was it before. So then we go to encoding preset. Video FPS. I don't remember this, but I'm just gonna leave it there for a while. I think you can change it from 29.9 .9 to around whatever you want. So this is the next one, extreme HD 270P. So you wanna start encoding. And you see, this may take some time, be patient. And be patient, seriously, because if you're recording like a 30 second file, it may take some time. So you notice this CMD will come up, and it should have this. Now all you need to do is wait. Not really, wait. And it will finish. Or just, you just wait, and it will help. Yeah. I'll come in when it's done. Oh, it's done. No need to.
Okay, so we're back. The conversion is done. Press OK. And we are done. Yeah, we are done. So now you should have a video in that file you have. Output. Look how much difference. Look how different the size is. 1.45 meg. This is 700 meg. Look at the difference. So E6264 is a very good thing to watch. The video, see, it's still okay quality. Yeah. It's not really good because I'm recording Bandy at the same time. You can change the settings. Um, th you don't necessarily need to use my settings because I'm, I'm recording, so I set it to a little bit lower. So yeah, that's basically it, how to record TF2 demos using Lavina. Goodbye.